this is the data warehousing architecture here we have two environments one is etl environment and another one is a reporting environment etl side if i using informatica so we have to do etl process that means we have to extract the data we need to convert the data we need to load the data into data warehouse means we are developing a data warehousing database for using informatica so it is a data integration tool we observe it is a GUI based ETL tool which is responsible for to develop ETL applications. That means the data, raw data, we need to read and we need to convert by applying some functions. After that, converted data we need to keep into data warehouse. But it is a GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. What is graphical user interface? See, if you want to develop any software, we have two modes. One is graphical user interface and a character user interface. In two ways, we can develop any software. See, graphical user interface means without writing any code, we can complete our task. But in character user interface, by writing commands only, we can implement our task. For example, I have one file in my C drive. That file I would like to copy into D drive means we have to drag and drop that file from C drive to D drive. Then that file will be copied in D drive. When it is possible, when we have Windows operating system. So Windows operating system is a purely GUI based operating system. And the Linux also GUI based operating system. As well as all data warehousing tools comes under GUI based. That means without uh, writing any code, by dragging and dropping, we can implement our tasks. Okay, that means 90 to 95% not required to write any code. By dragging and dropping, we can implement our process. Okay, but as per business requirement, we need to write some. 5% of code. So it is a purely graphical user interface. Character user interface means if I open a DOS, there is no drag and drop. In this scenario, if you want to copy a file from one location to another, another location, then we need to write some commands. Then only the file will be copied. So here, in two ways, we can develop any software in this world by using graphical user interface or maybe character user interface. See here, DOS, Unix, as well as all programming languages comes under this category. 